What is up fellas? In this tutorial I am going to show you how to create dust effect on your scale model. Stay tuned! I am going to start with a very diluted dark sand from Vallejo. This layer is a filter that aims to shift the color and should be barely visible. The area that this layer have to be applied on depends on the aircraft, but generally speaking around and in the gear base, on the belly and along the fuselage and don't forget about the tailwheel and the horizontal stabilizers. Just picture a propeller airplane kicking up all the dust from the runway and where would all that dust get? Keep in mind that the cores you should use are dependent on the environment that your prototype has been living in. The second layer in my case is a bit less diluted Vallejo Dark Sand. Here I am starting to suggest the areas where more dust would accumulate. I am not trying to be super precise though. We are still painting in a broad area. The idea is to build a bit more opacity in those areas. Ok, now let's include another color in the next layer. Here I am using H403 Dark Yellow from Mr. Hobby. Again heavily diluted. Here I start to create the areas where I think more of the dirt will gather, like panel lines, access hatches, etc. At this point your airbrush work should get more precise. In case you are wondering, I am using a Fengda 0.2mm airbrush that costs only $55 and has free shipping. There is a link in the description in case you are interested. For the fourth layer, I add a tiny bit of red brown. Be careful, as it is quite powerful color. This layer represents the largest gathering of dirt and also moistened dust. You know, dirt gets darker when it's mixed with water. That's why I applied this layer on places where gravity and airflow would send moisture, and that will hold the dirt for longer. Here is where the most amount of precision is required because we don't want to completely hide previous layers but to create a gradual and natural transition between the lightest and the darkest areas. Of course, like any other weathering technique, it is not meant to be considered in isolation but how it works in conjunction with the rest of the weathering. The next step of the weathering process is to add some heat and exhaust staining. Watch my tutorial on this topic by clicking on the thumbnail on the right side of your screen or down in the description box. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy modeling!